Good evening. My name is James Trantham. Tonight's discussion will be on Deborah Sampson. During the American Revolution, the bells of freedom were sounding out loud for all to hear. Many men, young and old, joined up with the Continental Army or with state militias. Others wanted to join but were not allowed. This included women. In today's military, women are allowed to serve as active duty personnel in any position, including those of combat. This was not so before 2016. This was especially not so in 1782. But Deborah Sampson would not take no for an answer. She loved her, the colonies there. She wanted to do her part. So she went out, she disguised herself as a man named Robert Schiff, uh, Shirt, um, left and joined the Continental Army. She served until the end of the war, fighting in several skirmishes. During her time, she didn't just serve in a regular infantry unit. She served in the elite unit of infantry, the light infantry. She participated in several skirmishes. At one point, Samson was even injured after being hit by two musket balls. She refused to see a doctor as she did not want to be discovered. Samson performed the operation herself and removed one of the musket balls, the other staying with her to the end. I'm not sure if there's any men who could say the same during the American Revolution. The wound did not heal correctly, so she walked with a slight limp for the rest of her life. Now, during the end of the war, she was an orderly for a general before being discharged. After the war, she was open about what she had done. After a failed attempt, she finally got Congress to approve of her pension. She did tour around the colonies, explaining what she did, how she dressed, would even perform for audiences, how she would look like a soldier and go through combat drills, just to show out and prove. She had many people that follow her. They had books written about her and stories. Now, just because she was a woman, we should celebrate what she's done. So she's an American hero, just like any of the male soldiers that fought in the revolution. So she, we should remember and celebrate her life and what she's done with for the cause. Thank you, and have a good night.